Breeze said after the game that he wants to think about it and everything like that. And it's a totally understandable thing to say because after the game, I mean, we're not, there's still football left to be played. And this man deserves his day. He deserves when all of the confetti is picked out of the hair of either the Bills, Chiefs, Bucks, or Packers. He deserves his solo moment on the stage. He deserves his press conference. He deserves to get whatever he feels he would like. He has served with distinction. He has made himself into what he has become. I know that makes very little sense when you just write it down. But when you look at him being a second round choice out of Purdue, by the way, Ladanian Tomlinson was the first round draft choice that year for the San Diego Chargers. It worked but out. <laughs> when you are a second round draft choice coming out of the Big Ten and nobody thinks you have much of a chance in this league because of just how literally tall in stature you are. And then he loses his job in San Diego by getting a younger kid drafted. He hurts himself just as he's going to free agency. How crushing could that possibly be? He goes to New Orleans. He does strike gold in the fact that the head coach who brings him there is a perfect match. And the rest is literally NFL history. The way that he reacted yesterday, leaving the field, blowing kisses to his family, the video that my colleague James Palmer of NFL Network shot of him and Brady after the game, the way that everybody is saying, let's leave it up to Drew to talk about it, the way that Drew's like, I'd, I'd like a few, let's put a pin in the conversation of retirement, the fact that he's got a contract with our colleagues at NBC Sports ready for him, Every piece of he is retired is written on the wall. And barring anything totally unforeseen, he retires one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of this game, which nobody truly gave this guy a chance for being called when his name was called by the San Diego Chargers on that draft day. I think that's a fact. Anything is possible. We've seen crazy Disney-like runs out of players. I sit next to one on NFL game day morning. Everything's possible. Brady as well. But it takes hard work and determination. It takes hard work and heart. And that's what this guy has coming out of his pores. Not perfect. He'll tell you that. He'll tell you that. But what a run. Most passing yards in the history of the game. Currently, he retires number one in that category. Brady will probably catch him because Brady's not done. He's got 1,154 yards on Brady right now. Most completed passes in the history of the sport, 364 better than Brady in that regard. Brady will never catch him in this. There have been multiple quarterbacks who have thrown for 5,000 yards in a season. Only one has done it more than once, and it's Breeze. He's done it five times. <laughs> Passing attempts, passing yards, passing yards per game, and also a statistic like passer rating. I don't have the slide rule or protractor to figure it out. He's right around the close to the top. The only people who are in front of him in many of those categories are players who don't have nearly the amount of years under their belts, like Mahomes, for instance, is somebody who's on top of him in terms of passing yards per game average. Breeze retires averaging 280 yards passing per game for a guy who supposedly wouldn't be able to see above, above his offensive lineman because of his height. And he leaves the game with a legacy of others following him. No question in my mind, Baker Mayfield got drafted first overall because look at how Breeze was conducting his business at a similar height. No question about it. So anybody who's of the six feet and around that mark and under or just around that mark, tip your cap to Drew Brees because he blazed a trail. No question in my mind. And he's uh, he's he will go down as maybe the greatest athlete in the history of that state. And I know I'm treading into waters that include Pistol Pete and things of that nature, but I'm serious. That's what this guy retires with, and I say to him, it was an honor covering him. 
from Sports Center all the way to NFL Network and getting to know him. I'll say that in advance because it sure looked like that was a retired man coming off the field, blowing kisses to his beautiful wife and family, and then taking one last look over his left shoulder at the Superdome. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.